Hi, everybody. This is God Sad for the Sad Truth. I recently taught my daughter uh, the basics of chess, and it reminded me of uh, the wonderful time I had when I was an undergraduate student in mathematics and computer science. And I know that there's been a renewed interest in artificial intelligence, so I thought that I would share with you a quick story about uh, my own uh, formal training in artificial intelligence. So this is uh, back in, I think it must have been 1986 or 1987, I took a course with uh, Professor Monty Newborn, who was a, or I think still is a computer science professor at McGill University, and he had been part of the project uh, uh, Deep Blue, uh, where uh, computer scientists were trying to develop algorithms <clears throat> that could play and potentially beat the uh, human grandmasters. Uh, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, Deep Blue might have been pitted against uh, Kasparov back then. In any case, I remember that in the course that we took with uh, Professor Newborn, uh, one of the assignments that we had to do was to choose a game and then implement uh, alpha beta pruning, if I remember correctly. This is now going back 30 years, so if uh, Professor Newborn watches this, I hope that he'll appreciate that uh, I'm remembering all of the uh, material. Uh, and so what alpha beta pruning does is, so imagine the decision tree of a game. So in chess, you start with a with a original configuration, and then the decision tree or the game tree could be expanded, right? If you do, you know, uh, move A, then here are all the possible nodes that you could face and so on. Well, the size of that tree, and I remember Professor Newborn giving us a sense of how massive it was. And I actually just checked now on Google. Uh, I did some Google searches just to make sure that I uh, remember the details well. Uh, is something to the order of 10 to the 120. 10 to the 120, so 10 times 10 times 10, do that 120 times. Now, to give you a sense of how big that number is, the number of particles in the universe is 10 to the 80. So in the whole universe, the number of particles is less than the number of nodes in a chess game tree. And I remember uh, Professor Newborn saying that you know, it would take, at least in the context of the computational power of computers back then, it would take you know, longer than the amount of time that the universe has existed uh, for you to actually conduct a brute search, meaning to actually go through the full decision tree to identify the, you know, the optimal move to make next. And so what alpha beta pruning does is it's a algorithm that allows you to, well, prune, right? Imagine, think about a tree and how you could prune certain branches that are dying. In the context of this algorithm, these are, if you like, uh, ways of identifying paths down the decision tree that are not worthy to pursue. And therefore, you can prune them. So what you're doing basically is taking a, a full tree, which would require, you know, uh, an extraordinary amount of time to go through and you're pruning it so that the search can become more manageable. And I remember that that was something that had struck me as uh, near mystical. I mean, it was so extraordinary. Now, of course, later in my career, I studied another form of search. In this case, it was uh, search in the context of a, a game tree. Uh, in my doctoral dissertation, I studied the manner by which uh, people decide to stop searching for additional information and commit to a choice. So if you're choosing between two cars or two mates or two candidates to, to vote for, uh, you don't look at all of the available and relevant information. Rather, you look at enough information until you're, you reach a point where you say, I'm ready to stop and choose uh, car A or you know, uh, woman B or uh, political candidate X. And so I looked at the cognitive strategies that people use in terminating the information search process. So search has always been, uh, in one form or another, a, a, a feature of my training. And so that's it. So there you have it. Uh, at the time, I was very interested in artificial intelligence. And even in my doctorate, uh, one, of, one of my minors was in cognitive studies. 
and the person who represented me on my doctoral committee who represented that field was uh, Professor Alberto Segre, who is a computer scientist. And I had looked at connectionism, which is artificial neural networks. So I was looking at the possibility of uh, studying consumer choice using these types of techniques. Uh, then I ended up going much more into uh, you know, behavioral sciences and psychology and consumer psychology, and of course, eventually evolutionary psychology. But uh, it's really interesting to sort of step back and think back of all of the uh, wonderful uh, concepts that one is exposed to in their academic career. So if you're ever thinking about going back to school, I say go for it. Uh, if you take the appropriate courses, you stay away from postmodernism and women's studies and the critical race theory and the other nonsense, uh, then you could only be enriched in being more educated. Hope you're uh, off to a good week. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.